Welcome back to Limbus Company Daily Mirror Dungeon Runs. This is episode 3, and last time I did a very powered um, Tremor build where I managed to get Tremor to trigger like three times. It'll I don't want to touch Tremor ever again. Eh, I'm sure I will eventually, but they kind of gotta do something about it. But this time, um, you may notice... It isn't the next day. Well, I'm recording this a little bit earlier than I would otherwise because uh, I'm going to be very busy tomorrow, the day this comes out, because, well, class, and I just don't think I'll have a chance to record it, so I'm just going to record it now. It's still, like, the next day, so, like, it's good enough, but, like, yeah. Let's get into it, then. Okay, um... Lead Nail. Well, if we do want to keep on going for, like, logical build, I could take a nail and go full nail build. And that would make sense. I mean, this is a really good rupture. I don't I don't want to go rupture yet, though, because I don't have G-Corp Gregor, who's, like, a very good rupture. So, yeah, I'll just go bleed and Gorp Gaming. Why not? One who grips. And the two of the hammers. Hopefully I'll get Rodeon somewhere along the way. But if not, I'll just go for like Hong Lu, since I think he's the only other bleed person I have. Comedically enough. Oh. Okay, um... Well, there's this blunt, so that's probably just better overall. Nail team is... I feel like this team is good. I feel like I don't get too much mileage out of the nails themselves. Because I, I think I don't lean heavily enough into, like, the bleed stuff. But, um... Yeah. It happens. It doesn't look, it's not like it's any sort of like huge bother. Sure. Um But what it is very good at is well winning clashes and stuff, thanks to being able to get like pretty good fanatic on your units, thanks to Grip Chromer. Or Grip Faust. Grip Chromer is just normal Chromer. And yeah, this is gonna be death. Very nice. Yeah. It's a bit unfortunate that we only have four end court people, and it seems like it may be a little bit before we get any more. Because as, as cool as end corp Sinclair is, I can absolutely see why they'd want to save that for later. Given how he appears in, like, the fun cutscene against Cromer. And, like, he looks incredible, but, like, it'll happen in time, I'm sure. Just the question is, how long will it be until that time? Okay. I always love to see execution going first, especially when it kills. Alright. Just a power up for the other two then. I don't think this will be enough to kill you. Still decent. Yeah, it's not like I need any. I don't need any, like, thing too powerful yet. Let's see. Goals for this run. Probably want to take as many Ego Gifts that rely on Blunt, Pierce, and Bleed as possible. Mm. Shame none of them interact with Nails, but that's because Nails is a special status effect. Like... Nails, charge, and ammo are all, like, special status effects that only can appear on certain identities that can use it. <laughs> Strange it might be, I'm, after this, I might go to the recruit panel space instead of just the level up, simply because I really want to make sure I get Rodeon for the maximum funny build. Okay. 
This should be nice. I think... I feel like it would have been smarter to start with Rodeon instead of Heathcliff. Because I think Heathcliff's probably the weakest of the uh, Encorp units, which makes sense since he's like the lowest ranked one. But it's not like it makes too big a difference. As long as I try and go for any like recruit spaces I can access, I should be able to get Rodeon before too late. Victory. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I'll recruit someone. Come on, give, give me Rodeon, please. No. I get Hong Lu, though. Who works as a good substitute. Or, for now at least. I'm still gonna aim for Rodeon in the eventual future. Because, like, Hong Lu's bleed, but because he's slash, he doesn't gain, like, the bonuses from execution from Grip Faust. Since that only buffs Blunt and Pierce. Oh, this guy's weak to blunt. Very nice. This will deal pretty good damage. Oh, that guy's dead. Oh, he's dead. I didn't realize that was only the second coin. Just choked him out. God. Hearing Encorp Heathcliff's voice is so sad because he's, like, not okay. They're doing something to his brain, some sort of weird, I assume, brainwashing. Like, in his, like, Uptie story, it's revealed that there's, they only get, like, one meal, that being some sort of strange white substance from cans. Which you also, I think, see in the actual dungeon. I'll just take this. Oh, excellent. Got the road in. Oh, where was I? Yeah, so that's probably what Encorp's Singularity is going to end up being. Some sort of brainwashing thing. It also mentions, like, some of the higher-ups, like, extracting things from people. Like, some sort of sub- some sort of unspecified substance, which might be the white substance. Which ties back into the Singularity? I don't know. Encorp's definitely going to be important, so we're definitely going to know what its Singularity is before too long. Especially because I think there's a very decent chance we'll end up going there for Mersault's chapter. Although, given our current pattern, that may be a ways away still. Since, uh, in case you didn't know, like, so far the pattern of the chapters has been the introduction order when they first meet Dante. Because it was first Gregor, then it was Rodion, then it was Sinclair. Following that order, that means next is Yi Song, and after that is Ishmael. Which sounds like a logical enough, like, order to go in. We definitely need to learn more about Yi Song. Because I think he's, like... He's definitely very mysterious, but, like, not in, like, such an ominous way as, like, Faust or Otis. But more so in, like, a... What importance do you have, since he is this game's classic, black-haired, like, depressed protagonist that Project Moon loves so much with, like, Ayan, Roland, Moses, Cat. So that's probably enough talking about me theorizing on what is to come, and let's get back. To talking about the run itself. I mean, Child Within a Flask, I kind of glossed over that because I was still talking, but, uh... God. I'm just kind of... I'm focusing for this. I'm pretty sure... Oh, there we go. I got it. You just kind of got to spam it a random amount of times to get that ego gift. Um, where was I? Oh yeah, Chop in the Flask, that's always really good. I think I got that last episode in like 
I mean, what can I say? It just means turn one ego for most of the time. Especially with, like, Mersault, who can get it off pretty consistently. Don't know how much I'm gonna need it here, though. Those two? Yeah, that'll work. Uh, yeah. And you? And these two can just kind of beat these guys up. Should be good. Back at Dule are easy enough. Yeah, that one's staggered already. I do wonder if we're gonna get, like, major Pekatule in the future. Because these guys are just kind of like the generic grunts. They're like the ordeals of this game. I think probably quite literally. So it seems like similar to the ordeals, they're kind of manifesting from the mind, although in this case probably because of the golden bow. That'll work. One dead, two dead, three dead. Excellent. I'll keep that up these. Oh yeah, I definitely want to get fluid sack since fluid sacks are very good. Yeah, just looking ahead. Really, my, the only choice that matters is whether or not I get healing or another person. I'll probably just get another person, because that'll at least provide possibly a benefit through the support passive. Okay. Mersault, there we go. Adjust to deal a little bit of damage. Oh, well. Probably should have been looking at the other classes and not just Mersault's, like, infinitely repeating class. But, you know... You know, that's, that, that's the end of the sentence, I guess. God. It can kind of be hard to provide commentary while the combat's going on, because it's just kind of, like, hypnotic just seeing all the people just beating each other to death. As insane as that may sound, I... Hopefully you get what I mean. Oh, executed. Bam. God, the sound effects are just so good. I don't, I don't think I've gushed about how much I love this game, but yeah, I love this game. Especially coming from someone who... Like, my favorite game of, of all time is probably Library of Ruina. That game has impacted my mental... My in the inner workings of my brain deeply, and um, yeah, this game is looking to still probably reach similar heights. What do I take here? Um, I'll take E Song, sure. Why not? Oh, it doesn't matter if I'm not using him, but you know, someone might die, in which case, he could be used, but yeah, like, of course, like the gotcha elements are a little bit like questionable that's for sure but i'm mostly fine with them because i understand it'll create an environment similar to what i enjoyed so much about the ruin experience that being like when ruina was having like the weekly updates and like it gave me a reason to like come back to the game every week and just like see what like new little chunk of story they had oh one off all right <laughs> oh yeah because he's he heals a stupid amount because he's a K Corp unit, god. But yeah, like that whole This game, it's not doesn't seem to be as well, there are weekly updates, but it's not weekly story updates, so it's not quite the same in that regard. But there still has been a reason for me to return pretty much every week so far. Every week providing at least something. Even if this like last week wasn't much, it was pretty much just teleport on. There was the April Fools, though. I guess that was a bit later. Yeah, that was worth it, though. Yeah. Good. And it's not like this game's super... 
predatory as far as gacha games go. I've... So I've played some gacha games before a little bit. Like, I've played Fire Emblem Heroes. And that's, like, it. But I never, like, ever spent money on it. I just played it free-to-play for a bit, and then I stopped playing it, and I never really got back into it because it escalated far too out of hand with, like, its weird mechanics and gimmicks and stuff. Hopefully that won't happen with Limbus, but, like, I've already gone over a month with still full-on, like, passion for this game. And I think I can keep it up. These are, that is a, a lot of damage coming for these guys. I don't know if any of these guys are going to survive, really. Oh, especially with the execution. God. Yeah, that guy survived one attack, but that won't matter too much when the second attack comes in. Oh, I guess... Oh, that guy survived. Darn. Oh. Huh? Oh, it's... Yeah, they deal self-damage, don't they? Or I guess it was the other one, so I can't see. But it was like a case of, like, the, uh, the cyborg, like, minions. It's like, deal 10 damage on use. And that was enough to just self-destruct, I guess. So I guess it would have been smarter to have Heathcliff hit the other one, the one that was being clashed with Rodeon. Oh, well. No way to know. Okay. Deal 10% damage and take minus 20% damage against enemies with bleed and pride. It's 10% more on top of each of those. Yeah. Especially thanks to this build, the enemies are going to have a lot of bleed. It doesn't matter, but I, I, I care. I gotta give him the ego. Because just in case, like, surely something horrible is going to happen eventually. Oh, this is a funny path. I'll probably just go, like, this path and, like, top all the way through. Nope. Darn. Not enough to kill. Oh, one more head's what it's on it, but then again, that would be asking for a bit too much luck, all things considered. Oh, that almost just killed, though. And Cloud Cutter kills, as it always does. Such an insane attack. Like... It's funny, because they kind of make him like a reverse bleed unit like he benefits more for attacking enemies that have like barely any bleed although i don't really i haven't gotten a good enough bleed because i don't have the like any, either of the three star kurokumo identities so i haven't been able to go for like a non-nails bleed team because like all i have for that is default identities and kurokumo honglu who's probably the best of them but i think he's probably not necessarily the best when it comes to inflicting bleed. I mean, he does have his tertiary skill, though, which inflicts a decent chunk of bleed, but mainly it's useful for its six paralysis on hit. Which is enough to severely cripple a unit for the rest of the turn. That's for sure. Okay. Center power up. I'll probably just get the rest of my team to level 20 with this. Telepool, he doesn't have anything here. And oh yeah, that's the team twenty. And then I'll just give Faust level twenty-five since she's like the the leader of the bunch. I guess if I go this way and I go this way, it makes literally no difference. Okay. 
More enemies. Oh, yeah, yeah, this skill. This third skill. Inflicts effectively six bleed if you get two heads. Which really isn't a lot. But, like, it can add up. You really just need someone who's got a good bleed count. Which I guess is nails. It's all about bleed count. But it's really not fast enough against, like, bosses and stuff that can attack a bunch. I guess each individual part is separate, though. I don't know. I think when we get the Refraction Railway this week, I think then it's going to be a lot easier to test, like, what builds are good and not. Because, like, Mirror Dungeon... Normal fights don't work well for most, like, builds. Stuff like Bleed and... Burn and Rupture are all about stacking about a stupid amount on a single enemy. And you really can't focus down enemies whenever you're in a normal, non-abno fight. You can't really choose who gets hit. Oh, this is gonna... She's gonna have a super... Oh yeah, this actually might kill because of the plus 50% from the nails. Very nice. That'll buff everyone but Hong Lu. Yeah, this is a kill, that's for sure. Overkill, even. Oh. Good job, Marisol. Units like Encorp, Mersault, and, uh, also, like, Mariachi Sinclair are so funny, because they're all about, like, being the tank. And, like, it certainly doesn't work that well whenever it comes to, like, most team compositions, because, like, you can't really tank if you've got a bunch of other people. It's still nice having someone who's, like, more willing to sponge damage. But, like... He's not winning clashes. Neither of them are. Although, the recent, like, stagger resist changes are really good, as far as that's concerned. The fact that they've only got one stagger, like, bar, or one stagger threshold. Okay. This is, so far, all three runs have gotten the, the bull, which means the coin. I am not complaining. It's very good. I also think I, like, barely have ever seen the bull before this series. Like, once or twice. So, um, I guess luck's just in my favor. I'll take it. Okay. Not the best overall. Oh, that guy's very dead. <laughs> okay. Is that from the nail? I'm trying to think. Does this... Does the nail... It shouldn't be that much, should it? Did that guy just get hit by a lot of hits or something? I'm trying to tell, but, like, it is not very apparent to me. I guess if I remember, I'll check the nail after the fight. The grimy nail. Ego gift. I should probably specify just in case. Oh. That guy's staggered, that guy's dead. I could mass attack if I wanted to. Or... I don't know. Uh, may maybe one day I'll get into the habit of calling them AoE attacks instead of mass attacks, but like... What are the chances of that, really? Death. Okay. I'm not doing great. Oof. Little unfortunate. I'm not too worried, though. I... I don't think I've got anything, like, particularly great as far as healing goes, but, like, once again, it would be pretty funny if an ally died. Okay. Crypt. And this one's actually clashing, isn't it? Yeah, and he's staggered. And the fight is won. 
after this next cloud cutter goes through. Excellent. I'd love to see it. I mean, I gotta do it. Unstagger enemies and bleed. Like, as much as it hurts me to not take, like, coffee and cranes, like, gathering skulls. The, like, this is, like, so many people hate this, but, like, it could be really funny. Especially in this team. Oh, the toad. Let's sit and wait. Wow, the eyeball. Oh, right, the, the grimy nail. I almost forgot. After doing the damage using a single coin skill, inflict one bleed and one defense level down. How did he have 8 defense level down? I don't know. I'm probably just forgetting about something. Standard duty battery is always good. Basically just 3 more damage with every attack. Give or take. And time for the final boss of the dungeon. Oh god. 26 minutes. This has been a fast run so far. I think it's just because I haven't been focusing on the game. I've been talking a bunch. Slithering Inquisitor. Alright. Where do you go? What attack is good here, even? I definitely want that. Maybe I'll, like, not start with any mass attacks and just kind of spread out. Who's this going for? This, and then redirect that. Okay, yeah. This should go well. And next turn, I will be able to use... The funny mass attack. The, uh, fluid sack one. I don't really need to, though. I don't know why I'm acting like it's that big a benefit. Oh yeah, I guess I need to remember Rodion is almost dead. Which could work to my advantage. Because, if you'll remember, Encorp Heathcliff's passive, like, buffs him if an ally dies in the turn you use two envies. I actually don't know if I've got, like, any envy on this team, though. I've got some. I guess resist blunt and gloom. So both of these mass attacks are kind of awful. Weak to pierce though. So this works. I use it left it on the left arm though, so you can hit both of them. And then I'll just have people, I guess, clash with. And yeah, you can... He'll use the funny pursuance. Just so he can heal up, um... Rodion a bunch. Oh, oh that plus coin drop from Encorp Cliff is very helpful here. Alright, the coin. God, as much as I praise the coin, I immediately forget about it. Like, every time. Oh, the arm's gone, that's for sure. Yep. Pursuance, healing. Should I don't know if they'll both hit Rodion, but they might. No, it hit Rodion and Heathcliff. And Wolf Gaming. Does that kill the arm? I don't remember how. It does not. But the arm is as good as dead. Yeah. Situations like this, I can really just use the auto battle and it'll be good enough. Let's see, weak to pierce, sloth, breath. I've got like none of that. I guess this is, is this pierce? Yeah. Okay, that'll help then. You can use this, why not? And st strategy against this guy is... Um, you're gonna get beaten up anyways, so just kind of try and rush him down. Usually. Yeah, he takes- he's got- fit. His body's only got 200 HP, and he's got 5 Fragile, and we are all faster than him, so we can pretty easily kill him before he has the chance to attack us. Hopefully. And once again, if he attacks us, say it with me now. It'll be funny. Because throwing is always funny. Oh! Right, the coin! <laughs> Two tails, which is unfortunate, but uh... Yeah, yeah. 
And now for this ego coming in. Which will be very good. Yeah, there we go. Styling on him. Yeah, he is absolutely dead. Heathcliff, finish him, and there we go. Not bad. Victory. Oh yeah, I guess I didn't look at the damage stats last time. Oh well. Yeah, it was Grit Faust who carried significantly. I guess Rodion didn't do much. Yeah, so he is probably better than Rodion. Yeah. I mean, they're still both, like, equally as useful. Wow, how nice. And, yeah, this stuff. Wow. Yeah. How long has this been recording for? 31 minutes. Either that was just a short run, or I've gotten a lot better when it comes to uh, playing and commentating. Which, if so, that's good. Now you can see I don't have my funny daily quotas. So I'll just use some of these tickets. Why not? I'll use two of them to recreate that feeling of like, oh, maybe I'll get something. Maybe I'll get lucky. I'm not going to, but uh, maybe. That's the fun part, isn't it? The fact that, you know, I could get something. No. Unless? No. <laughs> I don't have a gambling issue. Well, once again, thanks for- no, I don't want her to be speaking when I'm trying to do my outro. Uh, thanks for watching once again, and um, I'll eat, I mean, for at least the rest of the week, there should- these videos should actually be recorded the day they come out. Um, it's mainly just gonna be like the Monday, Tuesday type time period that's gonna be a bit messy for me because I've got- classes very late on Mondays. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Farewell.